Hey everyone, this is Linda from Blue Door Wreaths and More. Today I'm going to make a burlap um, baseball wreath, so I thought I'd just record it while I go. I'm going to use a 14 inch wire frame, some natural burlap. I have this sign, I know it's backwards for you, but it says if we don't answer, we're at the ball field. Shape of a home plate. And I have three little plastic baseballs that I'm going to use. And then I have a variety of some ribbons um, for a bow. So, uh, let me see if I can see these. Okay. <laughs> can you see these? I've got red and, um, kind of a red and white check, a blue and white twill stripe blue and white polka dot, and then a baseball. So I thought I would make a bow out of those. I've already attached my little, I don't know if you can see these or not, my little wire tie squares to the back of this sign. Okay, so let's get started. I did not grab my mask. When I work with burlap, I always wear a mask. Let me see if I can find it real quick right here. Yep, I got it. Okay. I'm going to do the ruffle method. So to do that, I'm going to take my burlap and I'm going to pull it up through and wrap it around the second ring from the outside. Then I'm going to fold it down. I've got some little wire ties here. And I'm just going to poke it through the burlap and then take it around that wire and then tie it off. Let me grab my grab my little it's here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep pulling that up and ruffling it as I go. Trying to keep it even. Pulling it up snug along that wire. You can see how it's starting to ruffle out. You can make it as full as, as you want to. I like mine to be relatively full. Once you've got it like you like it, then you just go ahead and jump over to the next section. But I'm going to add just a little bit more in this section here. sure you can see this here. Okay, that's probably pretty good there. So I'm just going to, I'm up to my, well, actually I can maybe get a little bit more. 
because you'll get up to a crossbar where you start the next section. These 14 inch frames have six sections on them. And the tighter you've got it in there, the better it's going to hold itself in as well. Okay, I'm going to just skip around that crossbar and start the next section and just repeat. It is almost spring here in Indiana, and I cannot wait. I went out back to my garden area this morning and checked it out. I do straw bale gardening, and I wanted to check my bales that I used last year to see if I'd be able to get a second year out of them. And I think for the most part, I'm going to be able to, so. Okay, this one, this next section is getting pretty full as well. It's going to pull a little bit more in here. Okay. Now I'm going to Skip under that crossbar and start the next section. I grabbed three rolls of burlap. I don't know how many it's going to take um, because depending on how tightly you pack it in there, it can take more or it can take less. So I'm on the third section, so if I can get, if I can finish up this roll here in this section without making it too tight, which I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think it'll be way too tight compared to the other two sections. So it's quite clear to me at this point I'm only going to use two rolls. Well, maybe not, because... <laughs> I have to go around the inner ring as well, so we'll see. We'll see. And it won't take as much on the inner ring because the diameter is smaller. Okay, so I'm going to skip into my fourth section now. I wasn't really quite exactly sure how I was going to attach the baseballs. And I just got some plastic baseballs. I'm not, on this wreath, I'm not using real balls. I have in the past used real baseballs. And I do have some, but I thought I would use plastic 
um, because they matched, I felt they matched better with this particular sign. I have another sign, a different baseball sign, that I think the actual baseballs would be better suited for. Okay, I'm going to skip over into the next section now. See how easy, how quick and easy this really is. And I'm almost to the end of this roll of burlap. So I'm going to need to tie it off. and then start my next roll. Okay. So to do that, I simply do the same thing I did when I started. I fold it down in half. Take a wire tie, wrap it around, make sure you wrap it around the wire. Pull it good and tight and snip it off. Okay, so let me grab another roll here. And then we're going to start this one that same way. I'm going to wrap it around that wire. Fold it over. Okay, and then feed this through the burlap, around the wire, you could also use pipe cleaners if you choose to rather than wire ties, I just prefer to use wire ties, but it's perfectly up to you. I just see a little <laughs> spot here on where I crossed over the crossbar. I'll clean that up when I'm done. Okay. So I'm just going to start pulling it through just like I have been. Creating this really nice ruffle effect. more to this section. Okay. And I'm just going to move on to the next section going under that crossbar. Filling up this 
last section here. Try to ruffle this out a little bit. Make sure it's nice and full. This section is about full and we're back to where we started. So we've got the outer ring full. Okay. And make sure that lays right. All right, looks pretty good. So at this point, what I normally do is I, I normally cut it off, cut it, tie it off, and then I'll start again on the inside. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut an area here. Pull that up through there. Till I get the ends in there. Okay. I'm going to fold them down. Stick my wire tie through there around the wire. Get it nice and tight and snip it off. Okay. That's the outside ring. Isn't that cute? So now we're going to go through the, the two inner rings. Can you see here we have the two inner rings? And I'm going to put it right around this second and do the very same thing we just did on the outer rings. Now this one, i got to tell you, is a little bit tougher because you're dealing with the burlap here. So you just want to go right around the second ring from the inner. Do the same thing. Pull it up. Fold it down. And then tie it off. Make sure you get it around that ring. Snip it off. Okay. Then you're just going to do the same thing you've been doing. Pull it up around that ring until you fill up this section as full as you want it. Like I said, I try to get it fairly full so that it holds itself in there pretty good because there's nothing adhering it to it. 
So you just want to get it tight enough so that it all holds itself in there nicely. Try to get a little bit more in there. I'm up to the crossbar section, so it gets a little bit tight in that area. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and Cross over that crossbar and start in my next section now. wanting to crawl under there. Try to get a little more in this section to make it a little tighter. That's pretty good, so I'm going to feed it under to the next, under the crossbar and start the next section now. Remember to try to keep it even on both sides of that wire. thought about going live and doing this on a live, but I wasn't really sure if I'd have enough time to finish it. And I thought, well, this way, if I record it, I can do it in batches. I'm down to the next crossbar again, so just trying to make sure I've got this as tight as I want it in here before I move on. I think I'm going to 
think that's good. So, okay, I'm gonna. can find my edge here. Seem to have lost my edge. There it is. Okay. Here we go. Got it. And I can tell by looking because this is the fourth section and I'm almost out of this second roll of burlap so I am going to need three rolls. won't take a full third roll, but I will need three rolls. I'm going to try to see if I can't get this roll finished in this section here without making it too full so it looks off balance. I don't think I'm going to be able to because I'm at the crossbar. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and go under the crossbar and move on to the next section. I can find my edge again. I'm at the end of this roll, so I'm going to do my fold down. And tie it off. Then I'm going to start my third roll. get it up through here without going
going through the burlap, just trying to go around the wire, which I guess it really wouldn't matter if I go through the burlap. I just normally don't do that. find my edges now. You do need to be careful. These wire frames on the crossbars have a little nub that sticks out and it really wants to catch on this burlap. So when you get around the crossbar sections, you really need to protect the burlap from those little nubs that stick out. I call them nubs. <laughs> little ends of the cross wires. Okay, that section's pretty full, so I'm gonna work my way under the crossbar. And start this next section. I love these natural burlap wreaths though. They can be used for so many different themes. They make excellent everyday wreaths. They just have so many uses. section is pretty full. I'm gonna actually I'm back to the beginning so that's it. I'll fill this up just a little bit more and I'm gonna tie it off and we've got the burlap done so let me cut this. See, I didn't use a whole lot of that third roll. I didn't even use a half a roll. But I needed it. I needed that third roll, though. So I'm going to pull it up through here. So I get the ends in. Fold it down and tie it off.
So then you just kind of go through and ruffle it out. Try to make it nice and even. Spread your ruffles apart. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? How's that? Very nice, isn't it? Like I said, on when you get on the back side on those crossbars, you do need to do a little cleanup work because it does tend to pucker around those crossbars. So I just like to kind of go in and and clean that up a little bit. To make the back side look pretty clean as well. Okay. So this is a basic ruffle burlap wreath and you can do so many different things with it. But today I'm going to turn it into a baseball wreath. And I thought I would center the I thought I would center the sign right in the middle, but I do want to put a bow on here and I'm afraid if I put that, see I thought I would. What I did is I took, I poked two holes in opposite sides of, of these plastic balls. I mean it, it's it's not a solid ball and I ran a pipe cleaner through it and then I was just gonna put, you know, like Three balls, you know, something like that. Let me see. Can you see that? You know, somewhere. But I also want to put a bow. So I'm wondering if I should offset this sign a little bit. Let me see if you can see that. If I offset this sign, then I can put a bow over here. Hmm. If I put it right in the middle, I'm really not going to have a good spot for a, a bow. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and make my bow first. And then I'll, I'll get my bow on there and then I'll place my sign. And I only picked out those four ribbons. Okay, 
So let me see. I'm going to start with my baseball ribbon. I'm going to do about let me see here. 10 inch tails, I think. The wreath is not that big, so I don't need like really, really huge long tails. gonna make some more loops out of this. Baseball ribbon. This is a satin ribbon and it's flimsy. I'm not real fond of satin ribbons, but it's the only baseball ribbon I have right now. if I can get away with just using one wire. wired edge on this wants to just roll in on itself. Okay. Yeah. Take care of that later. Okay, then I'm gonna I'm gonna do this blue and white polka dot two and a half inch nest.
about going ahead and making my bow ahead of time, and I didn't do that. I probably should have. I'm going to use this red and white chap next. really kind of a, an off-white. It's not really true white when it's, but it's fine. double wrap this one as well. And I could just use more pegs rather than double wrap, but you get the same result. use this two and a half inch blue and white. I call it a twill pattern. I, you know, I'm guessing it's kind of a twill pattern, right? It's actually baseball season is actually starting here like real real soon. April I believe. I'm gonna double wrap this one as well. tied off. Oh, come on. Okay, get this out of the way. long tails down here. Do I have that backwards? Okay. I see that did not tie. It did not tie well. It came untwisted. I didn't twist it enough. So I lost my loops. Get that back in there. Don't do this at home, folks. Make sure you get them twisted nice and tight before you take it off. Okay. 
Trying to see which is the top and which is the bottom. Okay. Let me get these all turned around. I am having a heck of a time with this thing. I should have used my double wires like I always do. But that's okay. We're going to make this work. It is not tight at all. It's my problem. The whole thing is not tight because I should have used my double wires. And I am probably going to cut this whole bowl thing out of this video because <laughs> it is not tight at all. I think I did what I did when I very first started using the pro bows. I got my wire wrapped around my post so then it doesn't get tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and feed it around again. Let me see here. Get it on the get it on the wreath. I'm looking for a a spot that maybe you know isn't quite as full. Right here, I think, is where I'm gonna put this. wrap the wires around themselves. And it's easier for me to tighten it around the wire frame. Let's see if we can salvage this bow. What is it pulling on? There, it's pulling on itself there.
so there's the bow. So let me see where I want this sign now. I need to stand up so I can get a good look at it. I don't want the bow to cover it, but I need to find a way to put this on here so that it's going to be able to tie it off. So yeah, maybe that's good. Let me see if I can... See, I put the pipe cleaner through the ball, so I'm just going to feed it right down through the burlap. It's my plan anyway. And then wrap it around one of the wires. Just like that. I'll clean that up later. Nice and secure. Very, very tight. So I'll show you how I did that. I took my little awl. I have a little awl. And I just very gently poked two holes. In the bottom side of the ball and then fed a pipe cleaner Chanel stem right through there just like that very easy to do I need to place the sign before I can place these other balls but I'm gonna go ahead and get this one finished up as well. <laughs> Getting it to come out the hole might be a little tricky. I'll try it the other way. I don't really need this mask on anymore. There we go. I so I didn't have any issues with the first two. Okay, so we got those balls ready. Now let's go ahead and Get these pipe cleaners on this sign. When I adhere these wire tie cable mounts, I always put some, um, I use um, DAP Rapid Fuse glue. It's kind of like a crazy glue. But I always put some of that on first, and then I stick them on that crazy glue, on that DAP glue, just for an extra little protection. And then I let them sit and dry till they get nice and cured before I use them. So I try to always do that ahead of time. an eye on the time here because I need to get ready for work here pretty soon. Okay. 
to make sure I don't have any sharp edges anywhere on these because these little wires can be pretty sharp. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I want to try to feed these through. And I place these with intending on putting it in the middle so they're really not lined up right anymore. But I really don't want to wrap it all the way around because it doesn't look real pleasing to the eye. So I'm going to feed it down through the burlap. I got that one. Let me see about what I can do about this one. Come on. Sometimes trying to get through several layers of burlap can be quite challenging. a spot that's not quite as thick. There we go. Okay. Got that one. This one really is kind of sticking over the edge. Let's see if I can't get it down through here too. Okay, very good. Okay. So, let me see. Let me put one right here, I believe. And get this through this burlap. not wanting to go. So I need to find a spot. Again, that's not quite as heavy. There we go. I got it, but it's hung up on a string. Okay. that side. Let me see if I can get this side. Okay. Get it nestled down in there. put the third one. I'm afraid if I put it here it's gonna get lost by the bow. Let me see, let me see. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put it right down here anyway. Maybe. Come on.
it's not wanting to go and I'm bending my into my pipe cleaner. This burlap is way too thick right here. Okay, I'm going to turn the ball around, try the other side. Okay, now see that one went right through. So, see if I can find a spot on this side that's not as thick. this to be on the other side of that wire. Okay. Man, oh man, I've got one stubborn end here that does not want to go through this burlap. Just wants to keep, just wants to keep buckling up on me got to be a spot here somewhere that's not real thick. There we go. Found one. Take that, you silly ball. <laughs> okay, get this tied around that wire. And I'll clean those up. Later. Where's my other red? There it is. Okay. I know it's backwards. You can't see it, but I'm trying not to bury that baseball, but there we go. I really really want this sign more at an angle. But that's it. A burlap baseball wreath. <laughs> so thanks for thanks for watching and I hope to catch you on my next video. This is Linda from Blue Dorisa Moore. Have a great day.